HD Hub is where you are now and this is the part where you get to get involved by sending your questions in on the socials but let's look at the league before we get to them after week one. Now we start off with the Western. After getting destroyed by Portland, Colorado are in 14th, Seattle 13, San Jose 12, Austin 11, Vancouver 10th. So now all those teams lost, Real Salt Lake managed to draw after two games. They lost their first game and drew their second one. So kind of an iffy start for them. LA Galaxy drew their game against the New Miami who had two games to play, but we'll see how they are doing in the Eastern. Then we have Sport in Kansas who drew again as well. St. Louis, Houston Dynamo all drew their games. Then we have LAFC who won 2-1 against Seattle. Minnesota who won 2-1. Dallas won 2-1 as well. And then Portland storming the top uh, with a shock result, to be honest, in my opinion. 4-1 against Colorado puts them top of the Western. Now, let's have a look at the Eastern. The Eastern is looking like this. New England at the bottom in 15th after getting beat 3-1 by DC United and picking up a red card. Potentially the first of the MLS season so far, which is quite impressive. It's a good stat to hold. Then we have New York City. We expect him to be there when Nick Cushion in charge. Atlanta's kind of shocked, but they did come up against Columbus Crew. So that's fair that they're there. Those three teams lost all their games that they played, which was the one, because then Miami was the only team that played two so far. Toronto are up next with a surprise point on the board after they drew with Cincinnati. Orlando drew 0-0 with Montreal. Nashville drew with Red Bulls. Montreal are 9th. Cincinnati 8th. Red Bulls 7th. Somehow we are there, but we will take that in 7th place. As long as we stay in there, around about there, I'll be happy with that. Chicago with a surprise draw against Philadelphia. They were unlucky not to come away with a free point. Philadelphia just above them. They were lucky to get the point and not lose and be further down this table so far. Charlotte with an impressive win with Dean Smith in charge for his first game. Columbus picking up that win against Atlanta 1-0. Pretty solid, pretty good Columbus vibes if you ask me. DC with the most impressive victory in the Eastern that I have in my opinion, which was 3-1 against New England, which we mentioned before. Outstanding puts him second. Then Inter Miami have played two games. Won their first one 2 0, drew the second one 1 1 after a 90 second minute equalizer by Lionel Messi. Now, let's get to your questions. Questions from the socials are questions that you guys send in on all the social medias, where it be YouTube Shorts, Instagram, TikTok, and X, formerly known as Twitter, depending on what you want to call it, but that is what happens. Now, our first question comes from TikTok In which team do I think has performed well in week one? Well, I think my top three teams have to be, well, uh, not being biased, potentially being biased. Red Bulls would be one of them in the, the contenders because how well they performed. Nashville, mm, no, they'd be an underperformer really. But the top top three, right? The top three, let's break down the top three and what we actually think. I think Portland definitely have to be up there with their 4-1 victory. DC have to be up there with a 3-1 victory. Chicago really were the, one of the best performers, I thought. Going 2-1 up against Philadelphia at Philadelphia as well. Only losing out by like a, night, a late minute goal to secure the draw. That's actually a huge improvement for them from what they were before. Toronto could be an honorable mention as well, as I mentioned with like, na not Nashville, Red Bulls, Toronto, who else kind of picked up some look like lookalike points. Dallas, coming back from behind, would be the, a contender. Best performing teams would have to be Portland number one, DC number two, and Chicago number three. Bold, very underrated teams in terms of the grand scheme of things, but I think they have been the best performers in week one. Now, another question that comes in is, who do I think will be the Golden Boot winner this season? Well, if you'd asked me at the start of the season when Sam Sturridge was fit, I would have said he would be a contender, along with Yakimakis, just with the goal scoring abilities. But now we're one game in, I get a bit biased information, and Benteke started strong. He keeps that up, he's running away with his Golden Boot. I don't really see anyone else competing them with him. Maybe Suarez if he finds his feet. But I just think like Ben Teke might run away with this, to be honest. Obviously, it's still very early stages and there's lots of games to be played. Injuries can happen. Maybe Dennis Boega, or however you pronounce his name from LASC, he picks up form really well and he will score goals. So maybe he might be a shout as well. But I think maybe early predictions. I gotta go Ben Teke. Just for his hat trick so far. He needs to pick up one or two goals now and he's pretty much there. There's a couple behind him on two goals, one goals and stuff like that. Players who have scored. And all it takes is one game to change the whole dynamic of the golden boot. But so far, Ben teki has got to be a good shout. And our final question from the social comes from a YouTube short where we done guess the ball. And that is correct. The question is, where is the ball? Well, I will tell you right now, if you follow our socials, TikTok and Instagram, definitely, you will find out the answer in our stories there. So be sure to follow us across there so you get the answer to your question. Or check out our community page when you subscribe around here because we post all the answers there 
roughly 24 hours after the short's been live, so you'll find out if you are right or wrong. Also, I do kind of give you a sneaky hint in the comment section anyway. Now we look forward to match day two. Now, this is where I pick three games to spotlight to see how they perform. First game has got to be Chicago versus Cincinnati. Now, Chicago at home against Cincinnati away. Cincinnati could not break down Toronto no matter how hard they tried. If Chicago put on a good performance that wasn't a flash in the pan that they had against Philadelphia, we could see massive upset coming right here. And I think that's a bold statement. But maybe Chicago can do it. Maybe they've turned their team around and they're going to hit the heights that they should. Like I did say at the start of the preseason. Now the other game is potentially now the blockbuster when the two teams came out the traps on week one. This is how they hit the ground running. Four goals for Portland, three goals for DC. That's right, they come up against each other this weekend. Portland are at home. Could they do another thing that they did to Colorado where they beat them 4-1? Could they beat DC? Will DC travel well? That is my question to see how well DC will perform this season. Because they were at home against a 10-men New England side. Did they get lucky because it was 10 men? Or were they actually just outplayed New England? Portland, did they just play an outform Colorado side here still trying to find their feet? Who knows? But we know one thing for sure. That game is going to bring goals. Now watch it be nil-nil. I guarantee you. But anyway... Now I think the final game has to be not being Messi biased or into Miami biased and mention them in every video trying to get that clickbait, but I think it just has to be the Florida Derby, you know? Inter Miami versus Orlando, Orlando didn't score, Inter Miami have now played three games when it comes up to this. They're finding their feet after a heavy preseason, they're looking a bit leggy and look like they're there for the taking before they get the rest break. Orlando need to score a goal. So maybe they'll do it this time. Maybe the Derby will bring out the better side of Orlando and they'll pick up their first victory. An honourable mention I want to put out there is New England versus Toronto. Be good to see how New England actually play with 11 men on the park and see if Toronto was a flash in the pan with their result against Cincinnati. Although they did not find the net, they looked pretty promising and Sean Johnson hit his heights that he was hitting before. Will they continue that and be the driving factor in Toronto's season? That is my honourable mention. Let us know what games you'll be watching this weekend and where you'll be watching them from. But for now, embrace the excitement.